So, as opposed to Botox, what do fillers do? Well, fillers, products like Juvederm, Westerlin, and even things like Radius or Pap, uh, a different type of filler, it's because it's from your own body, uh, all fill up certain depressions, certain hollows, certain wrinkles. And primarily in the lower part of the face. The most common use for a filler is what we call the nasolabial folds, which is usually one of the first signs of aging. So usually with just a little bit of topical anesthesia, which is a, a little cream that you put on an hour before the injection, these areas can be filled and smoothed out and take five years off you generally. There are other areas around the lip which also benefit from a filler. A lot of times the corner of the mouth is droopy. So we fill in in this area. There's another fold down here which is called the marionette line which also can be filled. And sometimes people have hollows in their cheeks or they want a little extra volume in their cheekbones. And then lastly, of the main uses for a filler, as people get older, they get changes around their eyes. One of the changes is wrinkling, one of the changes is bags, another change is loss of fat and the dropping off or falling of the cheek, which actually makes the outline of the bone here visible as a line which is a shadow which is a, a dark area and a filler can actually puff this out to make that transition from the eyelid to the cheek smoother. So the fillers last probably six to nine months sometimes in areas like around the eyelid or the cheek, they can last much longer up to a year, but they also are temporary, as is any injectable. So you can see that the difference primarily is that Botox is mostly used in the upper half of the face. Fillers are mostly used in the lower half of the face. Botox is something that decreases extra muscle activity for people that just have muscles in their face that are too big and too active and cause too much frowning or squinting or wrinkling. So it modulates or eases or tones down those muscles. Fillers I like to think of as spackle and that's just something that you do for areas of depression or where you just want to smooth so hopefully this has allowed you to know what the difference between Botox and is, and now you can look in the mirror and determine your own needs. This brings us to the end of our tutorial. I'm Dr. Andrew Kaczynski of Advanced Concepts in Plastic Surgery, where art, science, and beauty come together for you. For more information, please come to our website, drkmd.com. Thank you.